the thing I'm gonna tell you, if you do this, her underwear is going to spontaneously disappear. That is how powerful this is. Are you ready for it? Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't wanna be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? So one of the many ways that sex education fails us is it really doesn't talk about the way that female sexual pleasure works and it sure as hell doesn't acknowledge the arousal process at all. So many of us end up turning to porn to figure out how this works and porn shows us that the way to get a woman going is through her genitals. But actually research shows that this is the worst way to turn someone with a vagina on. There are some proven ways that can get women horny and in the mood and they actually don't involve women's genitals at all. These are not anecdotal, these are science-backed techniques and as a woman myself who also has sex with women, I can tell you these techniques definitely work. But before I get into these tips, I also want to say that when you are wanting to turn a woman on, you need to also, as a man, be bringing your best self to the table. Guys, so many of you have crusty, oily skin. If you want to be close to a woman, if you want to be kissing her, touching her, having your face in close proximity to her face, please take care of your skin. But lucky for you, I have you covered with some skincare products and a discount because today's video sponsor is my favorite men's skincare range, Tej Handley. Even if you've never used skincare before, it's easy to start and start looking your sharpest with Tej Handley. Everything is neatly packed into an easy to use system that ships straight to your door every month to take the hassle and guesswork away. You'll get all the products you need and nothing you don't. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, including a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. And you don't have to just take my word for how great Tej Hanley is, they have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. Show the woman in your life you care about looking your best for her and invest in yourself as a man today. In addition to great skin, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, and the option to pause or cancel your subscription at any time, as well as free US shipping. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out. Click the link below the video to get started today. Your skin and your woman will thank you. So a 2017 study published in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy found something pretty shocking when it comes to female sexual pleasure. And it's something that I think is going to make you rethink the way you approach sex with a woman or just anyone with a vagina. Just 18% of the women surveyed for this study said that vaginal intercourse alone was enough to get them to orgasm. 18%, that is a very small number. And it's also a shockingly small number when you consider the fact that that is what we are shown leads women to orgasm. In this same study, a whopping 77% of women also said that engaging in other activities that allowed them time to build arousal was the key to unlocking their orgasm and intensifying their pleasure. So what are these other activities? I hear you ask. Well, I'm gonna get into them, starting with number one. So in the 1960s, sex researchers Masters and Johnson did some pretty crazy stuff. They actually got people into a lab and watch them have sex, monitoring their bodies, monitoring all different things that were going on in their brains, their heart rates, and surveying them afterwards to try to understand more about how arousal, pleasure, and orgasm works. And something that they discovered through all of these experiments was a theory basically for approaching arousal for people with vulvas. And they termed this sensate focus. This was after they discovered that basically the secret to getting someone with a vagina aroused is actually 
not to touch their vagina at all. It's actually not even to touch any sexual body parts. Sensate focus is all about building arousal through creating a sense of anticipation, which if you are a long time subscriber of this channel, you will have heard me talk about before. Anticipation is really key for building arousal in people with vulvas because of the brain vagina loop, because of that connection between our minds and our genitals. They need time, they being our vajayjays, need time to walk warm up and the only way that can happen is by getting our brains into the game. So Sensei Focus really acknowledges this and it found actually in these experiments, they found that it was so effective, it actually helped people with vaginas to not just build arousal, but to get more lubricated, to get wetter and to be more likely to have an orgasm and a more profound orgasm orgasm. So there are many different aspects and techniques to Sensate Focus, but one simple one that I'd really like to talk about is touching the body and teasing the body without paying any attention to the breasts or genitals. So this can look like running your hands over the curves of your partner's body. It can look like tracing a line down your partner's stomach and getting close to their vulva, but never getting right to it. It can look like gently caressing your partner's face and running your hands down your partner's thighs. It's about spending time caressing and enjoying your partner's body, but in a way that is really deeply humanizing and is less sexually objectifying. People with vulvas are used to being sexually objectified. Women are sexually objectified constantly. We've all been catcalled walking down the street somewhere. We've all had a man say something really sexual to us that just felt really creepy, a guy that we didn't even know, maybe sending us a DM online or on a dating app or even in real life. And so when we are in an intimate setting with a partner, with someone that we really like, we don't want to feel objectified. We don't want to feel like a sexual object. We want to feel human. We want to feel seen. And you can make a woman feel seen by touching and holding and caressing her in ways that don't involve her more sexual body parts. Now, of course, all parts of a woman's body can be sexual and deeply arousing, but staying away from the breasts and genitals, which tend to be given almost like an over focus, especially in porn and in a lot of the sort of sexual material that we see online is a great way to start. And it's also going to start the cogs turning in her brain, creating that anticipation because now that you're not touching those areas, guess what guys? Now that is all that she can think about. She's going to be practically gagging to get you to touch her breasts and her genitals because you have been avoiding them because you are allowing that anticipation to build. One of the most underrated ways to get a woman in the mood for sex, something we rarely see talked about, and interestingly, something we rarely see couples actually do, is maintaining extended eye contact. It is so important for women to feel seen, acknowledged, and heard by their partners, and so often, particularly when we get into a long-term relationship, we kind of brush by each other. We might sort of give each other a quick kiss on the lips before we head out the door for work. We might be talking to each other while one person is in the kitchen making food and the other person is doing something in a different area of the house. We might have conversations where we're sort of passing each other by, but we're never really holding eye contact. And they've actually done studies where they found that the longer a couple is together and after a couple is married, the amount of eye contact they have tends to keep reducing down. And this is interesting because we also know that the longer a couple is together, the less and less a woman tends to desire sex. But if you've been watching this channel, you will know that this is not because women aren't horny, because research has proven that women are equally as interested in sex, sometimes 
more so than men. It's just that we have a different set of ways for getting turned on, for getting excited about sex. And more often than not, when we get into long-term relationships, our partners stop doing those things. So eye contact is an amazing way to break through the monotony. We know from research, women need tons of sexual novelty in order to stay interested. And while it might seem odd to suggest that extended eye contact is a novelty, if it's something that you're not normally having with your partner, let me tell you, it will be a novelty. It will be exciting and it will also allow your partner to feel really seen by you because you're going to literally be seeing her by maintaining that eye contact. So when you're talking to her, it doesn't even have to be about a sexual topic. Just ask her about her day when you get home from work. Ask her questions that show you're actually genuinely interested in her as a person. Because again, many women, particularly so many of the women that write into me, say that they don't feel that their partners care about their lives and about the things that are going on in their lives and that their partners don't really dig deep or ask them questions that show an interest in getting to know who they are as people. And so asking your partner lots of questions, taking an interest in their lives and maintaining eye contact through the conversation can be a big one. And I know some of you are probably thinking, well, this isn't a sexual thing. This is just having a conversation. But let me take you back to the earlier research that shows that women build arousal through activities that are actually non-sexual. These are the things that get us in a state where we are looking at our partners in a completely new light and where we are feeling so much more conducive to sex. Because if you've been making that eye contact, if you've been taking an interest in her life, making her feel seen, and then you start some sensate focus by touching her body in ways that don't focus on the breasts or the genitals, let me tell you, you are going to have a lot more success than you would if you had just come home, made some small talk without having a lot of eye contact and tried to jump straight into bed. There is so much research to show the significance of extended, deep, passionate kissing for women. And yet, again, this is something that we see tends to die off in long-term relationships. Often we will start kissing for less extended periods. And maybe then when we're getting into bed, that will be the only time that we'll have the extended kissing. Or for some couples, they won't even have extended kissing when they are actually having sex. Long, passionate kissing is deeply, intensely arousing and erotic for most women and most people with vulvas. That's because it allows us to have that feeling of being desired and seen and not sexually objectified. It's a really beautiful, romantic gesture. And it also allows us time to relax. We know from research that people with vulvas tend to require longer to get to orgasm than people with penises during partnered sex because we tend to actually need a little bit more time to get relaxed. If we're not relaxed because of that brain vagina loop, then our vaginas won't get in the game. So extended kissing is a way to get your partner to relax, but it's also a way to remind her that you really desire her in a deeply romantic, connected way that isn't just fully sexual. And one of the best things you can do, and honestly, women, please sound off in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong because I know you all are gonna agree with this. If you do this, her underwear is going to spontaneously disappear. That is how powerful this is. Are you ready for it? When you go in to give her that long, deep, passionate kiss, I'm talking kissing with tongue, guys. I'm talking kissing that lasts for like at least 10 or 20 seconds. Hold her face. Let me tell you, when you hold a woman's face while you are kissing her, the world stops spinning. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it, actually. The arousal is going to be so profound that she is going to be ready to get down and dirty. I know very few women who wouldn't get super turned on by someone doing this. And I'm talking about really gently putting a hand around her cheek and holding her face, even putting her hair behind her ear. Oh! While you are kissing her, this woman is going to be putty, putty in your hands. Please promise me you will use this very wisely because this is 
so powerful. So few people do it. And if you start doing it, you are going to rock her world. So guys, don't forget to go ahead and use my discount at Teach Handley. Get rid of that crusty, oily skin. Show the woman in your life that you're actually putting in some effort. Then use these techniques very wisely because they're very powerful and they are research backed. And let me know which ones worked for you in the comment section down below. And let me know if you would like more videos on arousal for people with vulvas and for women. Also, many of you have been asking, can I ask you, Nadia, questions, like sex questions directly? Previously, there has not been a way to do that. However, I have relaunched Patreon. So if you join my Patreon, which you can do for as little as $2 a month, you can get exclusive access to me. I am dropping tons of exclusive sex content over on Patreon x-rated education that I cannot share here on YouTube and you will get the opportunity to have direct one-on-one -on -one access to me when you join one of my top membership tiers. So go and check it out. I will also put the link to my Patreon in the description down below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I put out new videos every week and I would love you to join my sex positive family. And if you're not new here and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, Come on guys, what are you doing with your lives? Make today the day you join my sex positive family and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.